What's good, boxing fans all over the world? Real Talk Boxing back at you again. Hope y'all having a blessed day. Excuse the specs, y'all. I got home. I jumped in the shower. I was very excited because I hadn't been able to, to put my head under the shower since I, you know, had my procedure done. And I hadn't been able to shampoo my beard properly either. I mean, my beard was sour. Today was the first day I could take my bandages off and let my stitches breathe. So, you know, I, I forgot my beard shampoo. And I didn't want to get out of the shower. I was already wet. This is probably too much information. But <laughs> I used my wife's shampoo. And her shampoo, I was so excited. I was glathering it up and it splashed in my eyes. Man, my eyes got all red. That's why I got the specs on. But anyway... um. Like like I said, hope y'all are blessed. Hope y'all are having a great day. And uh, let's get into this I'm reading right now, man, about, about your boy, Mr. Ryan Garcia. Ryan wants some more money, y'all. Uh, he wants some more money. Ryan Garcia dares Golden Boy Promotions to release him if they don't believe in his abilities. Let's get into this. Highly popular, 135-pound contender Ryan King Garcia wants Golden Boy Promotions Boss Oscar De La Hoya to, re to release him from his pr promotional contract with the company if he doesn't have faith in him. Golden Boy Promotions just signed Ryan to a new contract, and they may not want to cut him loose without knowing for sure if his career will take off. The young Garcia wants to make the bigger money that many other fighters are getting. Unfortunately, this is not the ideal time for Ryan Garcia to ask Golden Boy for more money. It is not whatsoever. Bad timing. The gate revenue isn't there, and Golden Boy has a lot of expenses with the testing and the red tape that goes into staging boxing events behind closed doors. A lot of people don't know how much money goes behind that, man. Um, the, the, the professional fighters that I worked with, we were doing small... Um, venues and there was a, a handful of times where man one fight we didn't even get paid you know what i'm saying i mean that's how much it goes into it um garcia is putting de la hoya in a tough position right now with the pressure he's putting on him but there is a way out if de la hoya does not have faith in ryan he can let him go and likely be snatched up by matchroom or top rank with those companies ryan will have the chance to prove De La Hoya wrong by winning world titles. Look, Ryan wants out of this. He wants out of this contract. That's that's what it sounds like to me. Um, I believe he knows that Oscar is not going to give him the money that he wants. Um, a lot of people keep harping on the fact that he's very, very popular. That he is has a huge Instagram following. But that's totally, that's like almost separate, completely separate from the boxing community. Because a lot of his Instagram followers aren't even boxing fans. You know what I'm saying? So you can't really put the two together. Oh, well, he has a huge following. Not like boxing fans, it's Instagram fans. People, people kind of mix that up. Yeah, he's a popular kid. When I see the kid, I see a pretty boy who's got fast hands and a good right hook. But he has yet to fight top-level competition. Every fight Ryan Garcia has fought, his opponent, I have no idea who they are. No clue who they are whatsoever. And that says something. And I know some of you are going to say, hey, well, all of us got to fight scrubs. You know what I'm saying? To build up our, our, uh, our record. At some point in time, you know, we got to fight scrubs in the beginning. I get that. But now you're talking about getting bigger paydays and you don't even have a world championship belt. I I'm telling you, Ryan Garcia wants out of this contract because I don't see Oscar De La Hoya giving him more money, especially at this time when we're dealing with this pandemic. Gate revenue is not there. People are not paying to, you know, come to the fights because they can't. And I can guarantee you his Instagram followers aren't paying money to go to his fights. Now, if it was it was showed on Instagram and they had to pay a certain fee to watch one of his fights on Instagram, that's another case. I guarantee you his followers would support him 
and throw that money down to watch him fight if it was on Instagram, but it's not, and maybe even pay per view. But none of them is going to his fights. None, none of them, none, none of them are supporting him in that manner. So you can't really put those two together. You know, the Instagram and the boxing world is it's it's different, man. It's separate. It's separate. Now I'm not saying all his Instagram fans aren't you know boxing fanatics or boxing fans, but majority of them are not. Majority of them are teenage girls. You know, they 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 think that the, the the young kid's hot. You know what I'm saying? They, I mean, he's a pretty boy. They they want to see him. You know, just like Oscar De La Hoya when he was coming up. But Oscar, to me, honestly, had way more talent than Ryan Garcia. I just have to see the kid fight better opposition, and at some point in time, they're gonna throw him in there. And if he stays with Oscar, I believe Oscar's gonna give him what he wants. Okay, you want to be payday? then you're going to have to start fighting these type of guys right here. And if you don't win, and if he starts losing, I think Oscar Dean will, will let him go. That's what I think Oscar's waiting for, but I may be completely wrong. This is just my opinion, y'all, like all my other videos. But, you know, it was reported that he was, he turned down a fight for 200000 which I would have took in a heartbeat. <laughs> but I ain't got the money Mr. Ryan Garcia got You know what I'm saying I would lose weight, get in shape And go in to try to win the fight for 200 grand Shoot, for 50 grand But He gotta understand, man You gotta fight tougher opposition You gotta get you a belt You know, and you gotta You gotta have more than just an Instagram following It takes more than that, man And it takes more than that to get respect, too, in a boxing game So, uh, in my opinion You can't ask for the type of money you want. You can ask for it, but in, in, in my mind, it's like, man, why, why why, would you even ask? How dare you? What what really have you done? I mean, as far as beat lower level competition, I mean, I, you know, you still have to get in the ring and perform and get the job done. That's that's still not easy, but come on, man. I mean, let's be real. I mean, it's my opinion. A lot of people like to love Ryan Garcia, and they agree with him, and a lot of people aren't going to like what I'm saying about him, but he hasn't fought anybody. And that was, you know, it was one point in time he was talking about fighting Javante Tate Davis. Like, you, come on, man. You ain't even ready for that. You ain't near ready for that. And I'm not even a huge Tate Davis fan, but Tate, Tate Davis will take your lunch money. He'll mollywop you, homie. You don't want that now. Not right now. Get in there with some tough opposition. Go put on your butt a couple of times. Let's see you come back from adversity. Let's see you come back from, <clears throat> you know, a knockdown or two. Or not even that. Let's see you come back. From somebody just beating your head in for two or three rounds. And you and you have to adapt and figure it out. And come back and knock that guy out. That's how you learn. That's how you grow in a ring. And I just have not seen him face any type of adversity because of the level of competition that he's in with. That's all I'm saying. I don't dislike the kid. I like him. I just, I, I think he, he he's getting a little bit too big in the britches, man. There's a process to this, just like Oscar saying. And I, and I guarantee you, soon enough, Oscar's going to get tired of him, get tired of hearing his mouth, start putting him in there with some killers. Or Oscar will let him go. Because I can guarantee you Ryan Garcia wants to be let go and let go of it, you know, and, and have his contract just completely rebuttled. And so he could go get with top rank or somebody else who, who will pay him the money he wants to get paid. But if you go to top rank, you're going to have to fight still. They're going to put you in there with some monster steel. So either way it go, all darkness comes to the light. If Mr. Ryan Garcia is as talented as he thinks he is, it will show real soon because he's going to get what he asked for. And I hope he proves De La Hoya wrong. I hope to, I want the kid to be good. I really do. I want to see him with a world title. Then he can walk like he's talking. You understand? But you got to get there first. There's an A side and there's a B side. You know, and there's a, a, a huge gap in between. So be patient, young man. Be patient because your time coming. We're going to see if you made of sterner stuff sooner or later. As always, respect all, fear none, God bless. I really appreciate my supporters. I appreciate my subscribers. And if there's anybody out there who's a dog person who wants a, a, a pup or anything like that, who are particularly into American bullies, look up SAB, Sabs, American Bullies. Or you can look up my homeboy, uh, Miguel, at Heavy Pressure Kennels. Or I think he changed his name to Heavy Pressure Camp, one or the other. Me Miguel, Heavy Pressure. Put it that way. Respect all, fear none. God bless. Till next time. Real Talk Boxing out.